Well, guys, it's Saturday. I was hoping to get some painting done today, but it's kind of cloudy. Looks like it's going to freaking rain. I got this part primed the other day. This bottom part while I had this top off of it. And today, I went ahead and adjusted this needle and got it an eighth an inch, what it calls for. It was about a quarter. I moved it down to eight. And I decided I'd go ahead and change out these uh, pieces here because this one don't clean out with the flip. But I got to looking at the piece I got. Notice it's two rows and you got two cleaners. These pieces is only one row and you got one cleaner. So I don't know if they'll even work. I guess the only way to find out is to damn change it out and see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this knife off here. This part here, sharpen that blade there. To get that off, i got to take... Oh, still i got to take this, this car key out right here. And that will just drop down. So I'll get it off and try to sharpen it. Alright, from that angle, you ought to be able to tell how I get this off. Once you get this piece here off, you just kind of rotate it, pick it up and rotate it, and it's out. Pretty easy. Now when we get this piece off, rotate it back. And then this gear right here, there's a set pin. And I see it right in between this cog. I hope you can see it. Let me check. Yeah. Take two. Get this uh, twine, sir, twine holder off. You get this cog off as a set pin right between two cogs right here. So you gotta take something and drive that pin out. Pretty good, pretty small pin. But well, it's coming, but it's, this pin's about as big as that pin. Whoop, there it went. Don't lose your little set pin. Now that allows you to get this cog off here. Whoop, just as easy as that. Now this piece right here kind of holds pressure on these cleaners. So I think the whole thing will come out and I may have to I may have to take that loose a little bit. Maybe this will be the right size. Now if I got room to clear. No oh, wait a minute. I got something right here I got to get out. Uh -huh. These cleaners don't look nothing like the cleaners I got. The cleaner I got looks like this one. The wind's to pick up now like a storm or something. problems you run into. So now we're going to take the bill hook off. And I believe it's the same way. I believe it's got a set pin right there. falls anywhere. You don't want to lose these pins. They don't, they don't come supplied with them. This is like the other one. Now that thing ought to lift right out there. Probably knew this thing's been in here forever. Some will probably have to help out a little bit to can. Well guys, finally got this darn thing out. It's dry all the way up, just hard, hard to get out. I had to get my vice grips, I mean, uh, uh, 
the vice grips on there and kept working it and freed it up and I was able to pull it out. And now, bing, got it out. No problem. Now we'll try to put this one back in there, see what that looks like. These will fit. And then I can use these two new ones. Let's see how that thing. Went in there. I think it went in there like this. Or that other one. back in but should work fine it's just a little thicker the own difference I see this one's got a, a little ridge makes it stand up some and that other one's got an extra piece here so hopefully it helps it out I don't know anyway I guess I will Try to clean these, clean that piece up a little bit and get that back in and get this hooked up and go from there. Okay guys, <clears throat> got the twine disc and all back in. I had to get timed. You time it relative to this position right here. And I'm looking at my book. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. It says show figure 232 shows the twine disc properly timed without twine in it. It's about 5 sixteenths past that point A, which is what I have my finger on. It's right here. And that's about 5 sixteenths past point A. Now to time it, yeah, you got to take this nut loose here, tap on the end of this, and get this loosened up. This will come up. This will come up out of the way. Then you can turn this where you need turn this and then turn that one then tighten the nut back up anyway I'll get that little hooked up and I'll put my, my bill hook back in and my knife and we'll be ready to roll <clears throat> well guys got everything back together went ahead and put that that uh, new bill hook on since it was just easy you know just as easy to change the mouse as I had to take them out anyway so now it's on to this one and it's in a little, little harder place to get to I'll be standing over there in that damn corner there so I ain't gonna try to film it and uh, hope this give you an idea of how to get time these knotters and how to get them apart and put them back together. Just want to make sure you uh, got them timed right. Well, guys, there's the finished product. Got this side done. Just like the other side. Didn't have near as much problem getting the bill hook out on this side. So, anyway, hope that helps. And if you got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks. Take care, guys.